Hi, I'm Kunal Kapoor and uh, I'm in Dimapur in Nagaland. Dimapur is the largest city in uh, Nagaland and uh, I'm here uh, with this uh, lady uh, to learn how to make a khuni. A khuni is uh, basically a fermented soya bean uh, which is fermented and smoked and usually made in small little humble houses across Dimapur and uh, it becomes the base for a khuni pickle. At the same time, uh, a khuni is used to make a lot of dishes like pork with a khuni, uh, other meats with a khuni. So, what a khuni is? So basically, it's the soya bean, and here it is. So if you see, this is soya bean, and this lady purchases the dried soya bean from the market, and then she boils them in a pressure cooker right here. If you see, it is pressure cooked at a slow heat on firewood for about one and a half hours, and after that the entire contents is put into a bamboo basket so that the excess water is released. Once the water is released, you they have put some newspapers and there is this leaf. There is a particular leaf that they have put on top and then covered with a metal plate. I'm not sure what leaf is this but this looks like more or less like similar to something like a turmeric leaf I think uh, or maybe a, a small little banana leaf. But this is a particular leaf which she says she gets it from the nearby forest. So, now this now goes towards the fireplace where the fireplace is in this typical house just on top shelf. It is kept there. So the smoke and the heat from the firewood actually gives a lot of flavor and slowly but gradually starts to dry it up and it kick starts a little bit of fermentation. Let me show you where. Come. Hello. So, this is the fireplace that I was talking about and this is a typical Naga kitchen and this is the bottom shelf which is very hot, not over here because it might burn, this top shelf. If you see, there are more and more of these and I am just placing it right here and this will stay here undisturbed, untouched for about 4 days, it will be smoked gradually heated, fermentation kicks in and after four days this is taken, pounded nicely, pounded nicely and then after pounding it's made into cakes. I show you the cakes. These cakes of the pounded soya bean are then wrapped in a leaf and then kept here and smoked and dried for about one to two days and post that it's ready for consumption. I'll quickly show you how this looks like but before that have a look around. This is a very typical humble Naga kitchen. The firewood on the top, then the bottom or the middle shelf where all the equipments are. Lower, again another shelf to keep maybe the food warm and just below this is the firewood or the fireplace. If you pan right you'll see the equipments and all the utensils and not just women but men as well join in the kitchen they help a lot in the cooking now let me show you what uh, this particular soya bean once it's pounded and again wrapped in these leaves, this is what it finally comes to. This is what it looks like. It has a very very strong uh, flavor. Let me just try this. It has dried from the outside towards the edges but inside is warm and moist. Okay. very sharp uh, bitter taste at the same time I can feel that smoked flavor of uh, soya bean very well rounded flavor uh, there is no salt there is no chili nothing so this is the base of the mother of kuni using this you make a kuni pickle 
uh, for kuni pickle to make a kuni pickle you've got the local naga ginger the garlic the chili the salt along with a little bit of oil uh, and some salt from the spring not just the regular iodized salt but salt from the spring uh, lakes or the uh, not the lakes but the spring uh, uh, the natural occurring springs they are very rich in uh, the local so salt from where the salt cakes are made and those cakes are added to this along with the king chili the ginger garlic little bit of oil they mixed together cook for a little bit to make a kuni pickle so this was uh, nagra and thank you so much for teaching me how to make fermented soya bean cakes or a kuni